All right, hey Josh here, Attica Lumber Company, actually out here in Wyandotte County. Um, in this video, I wanna to talk to you about what we did here. We, as you can see here, we put this on an existing pad and due to the city constraints here, we had city constraints, we had to do this. There's space here around here. I'll just get pan this over just a little bit. But originally we wanted to go outside this driveway perimeter wise, but the city would not allow the customer to do that. You can see here on the porch, we were able to do that right there. We were able to put these six by sixes, drill down four feet. But you can see what we did on the existing pad. Now, there's a couple different ways to do this. Now, the customer is getting estimates as far as, you know, I mean, we could dig down and blow up the concrete. Problem with that is, you know, the cost. And then also, what are you gonna do and when, you, when you blow up the concrete and so forth. So what we did here, as you can see here, we put these brackets right here these sturdy wall brackets. See how we anchored that there. Now the downside to this is what happens, you know, cause underneath this pad here, um, not a footer. So the concrete could heave. So if the concrete heaves, boy, we got an issue, right? So, but there's always gonna be that um, when you're doing something like that. So you can see what we did around here. We put the baseboard two by 10 on there. And then also as far as water coming into a building, that's also something uh, when you have an existing concrete pad versus going into the ground, you have that water effect and you have the heave effect. So just to kind of give you an idea on that, that way when you're considering, but if you're, if you're space bound, if you're constrained by your, um, your town or whatever, and you know, it is what it is, zoning, obviously you gotta respect the law there. So, but this is what we chose to do there. You can see how we set that up. But a 24 by 24 post frame building. You can see what we did. Not obviously a huge building, but you can see what we did. You got the starter truss right there. And then what we did here, we did a raised cord or a scissor truss right there to give this gentleman and his wife more headroom, as you can see right there. So a little bit stronger lumber there. Again, only a 24 foot truss, but you can see a bottom cord two by six, then also the top cord two by six as well. All right, so again, on this application here, we're using six by sixes on the corner and then four by six um, as the intermediate. All right, and why six by six on the corner? That's where your strength of your building is. So we like to put the six by sixes right there. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea of what's going on here. And again, just wanted to bring you up to date on this one. So again, 24 by 24 post train building, whole barn building with a nice porch and town town here, Wyandotte County, town of 10,000. And again, the reason why we had to do that again, because of variance and zoning. So that's the scoop here. So if you like the video, boom, give it a thumbs up and comments are always welcome. Until next one, keep it locked loaded right here. Attica Lumber, Attica Lumber since 1925.